Welcome back to Real House DIY. We finished our drywall. Next we're going to take a look at wiring an outlet. At this point you might want to do the joint compound for your drywall next. However, I always like to finish the electrical at this point. Make sure it's all functioning. In case something's happened, you can still go back and take all these drywall screws out, take a panel down, and find what you need to fix. For this project, Depending on how much light you have in the room, you may want a headlamp. Need some extra wires for making pigtails. Wire connectors for the pigtails. Got your outlets or light switch. Outlets you want to use the tamper resistant, it's required per code. I'll use a drill driver, mostly just for screwing down the top and bottom to the box for your outlets a little bit faster. Also need a screwdriver, or your linemans, or you can also use wire cutters, needle nose pliers. I do prefer the needle nose pliers for getting a tight radius wrapped around the terminals of the screw. Although you can use the linemans again, I also like to use this uh, wire stripper. Also, if your drywall has not been cut nice and close to the box, you might end up with these tabs that are supposed to touch the drywall here when you tighten down the outlet or light switch. Those may go too far in. In that case, I like to use, this one's like a plastic bushing to extend it and you'll get it out to that level of the drywall that you want and then your outlet will be nice and tight. Or instead of using this plastic bushing as a spacer, you can take off this black piece here that's on the screw, slide some nuts down the screw to get the distance you need, then put this black piece back on. That'll hold everything together. First thing to do is shut off power. I already confirmed power is shut off at the breaker. And we've got plenty of extra wire here to work with. See, we've already got the pigtail for the ground. I'll need additional pigtails for the neutral and the hot wire. This is 14 gauge wiring for a 15 amp circuit and 15 amp outlets. These red wire nuts, I'm going to reuse those. The box says those are good for two to six number 14 wires. So I'll have three, that's fine. I've got a little bit extra length here that I don't need, so I'm gonna cut a little bit of that off. I'll strip these wires. Cut some links for neutral and hot pigtails. And strip the ends of those as well. They'll tie the three neutrals together. One of them is power coming in. <clears throat> Another one in the box is the power going out over to the next outlet. And this pigtail that I'm adding here will be the power to this outlet 
in this box. I'm gonna take the linemans, twist these together. Got one sticking out a tiny bit farther than the others here. Make those all even. So the connection is made between the three wires with the twist and then the wire nut. Add to those. And that's a really secure connection. Do the same thing for the hot wire. Now we'll get our outlet ready. That's just a 15 amp outlet in one room. So I'm only gonna connect wires, let's say to the top screw terminals. I'll tighten down what will be the unused terminals. Don't want those sticking out. So you have three wires to connect, ground, neutral, and hot. If you're not sure, it says right here on the back, says hot for the black or hot wire. And here it says white for connecting the neutral wire. So we'll go ahead and connect the ground first. The screw is gonna be screwed in clockwise. You want the wire to wrap in the same direction. Got the neutral. This is where I like to use the needle nose pliers. Get that tight turn for going around the screw. And then the hot wire. You can see the wire gets tucked in under this plastic piece there. So it goes straight out the back. Same for the hot. So now we just start tucking the wires into the box. That's good. This is where I'll use the drill driver. There we go, can confirm it's nice and tight. It's also flat against this plane here, not tilted left or right. You can also take a close look at the sides here Make sure there's nothing close to the screws or the wires on either side. And that outlet's done. You could turn 
Power back on, confirm it works. I'll leave the cover plate off until I finish the joint compound for the screws and then the primer sealer and top coat of paint and the covers go back on and turn power on. For a light switch, most of the process is gonna be about the same. You have a ground screw. You can see that it has the gold or brass colored screws because you're supposed to switch the hot black wire for a light switch. And I prefer to have all the wires coming into the switch box. So you have wires coming in for the power, you have wires from the light fixture coming into the box with the switch. So you connect your neutrals together in the box and then you'll be switching the black hot wire. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching.